This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, and verse 1 through 3. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechai Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and his sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechai Kodash, Brakdam. To use a quantum, while I can walk off, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in this brother Shai, Ba'an Yahshua'ala. And this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi HaBashim Shai on once the elect is sealed. Then the floodgates of judgment and fire will rain upon the earth, man. Let's get another quick precept. Let's get the book of Luke, chapter 17. And I'm going to start at verse 26. It says, and as it was in the days of Noah, which is Noah, okay? Because during the time of Noah, you had what? Uh, the flood. Okay, that's the first death. When the Heavenly Father had mercy upon eight souls, Noah, his three sons, and their wives. And he had great wrath upon everyone else upon the earth, man. And he all drowned, you know, in the water. Okay? And was, you know, um, food for Leviathan, his family. Food for, for the sharks and, you know, the creeping things in the oceans, man. All right? That was great wrath shown. Okay? But he also, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al also showed what? Great mercy during that time. So it says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? Yahweh Shah, Lord, now Savior, the Messiah, who the world angry calls Jesus Christ. All right, so the days leading to his return will be the same thing that was going on during the time before the flood came, before it started raining. Okay, Noah was out there building the ark, prophesying 120 years. Okay, and what did the people back then do? They mocked him, laughed at him. I never saw rain. It's not going to rain. Okay. So the same thing is happening today. We letting the world know, starting with the elders and apostles on down, through the spirit and prophet Habashi Shai, we letting the world know, okay, that the second death is coming, fire and brimstone, all hell gonna break loose, society gonna collapse, race wars, riots, okay, just straight up cycles and killers and cannibalism, all type of crazy stuff gonna happen these last days very soon, all right? But they don't wanna get down with it, they don't wanna listen. See that? They're not hopping, they're not hopping on the spiritual ark, which is, you know, this truth. And ultimately, them, them arcs are going to be them chariots, man. Isaiah, what's that, uh, 20 and 26? If I'm not mistaken, it might be reversed. Isaiah 26 and 20, when it goes to enter down to thy chambers, you know, shut that doors about thee, and hide that stuff as well for a little moment until the indignation of the Lord be overpassed. You see? So the new arc is going to ultimately be them chariots, man. But right now, this is a spiritual arc. You know, scripture, what? The secret place in the most high. He that dwelleth in the secret place. Psalm 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall what? Abide under the shadow of the Almighty, meaning protection. So if you dwell in the secret place, this truth, this gospel, this ministry, you'll be protected by Yahweh Hashem and and these days is coming. During the famine, you will eat. When all hell breaking loose, you'll be stable because you have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, which is the fear of the Lord. Let's read on, verse 27. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all, man. So once Noah went into that ark with his family, that's it, okay? That was a wrap. The, the scripture going to that, the Lord had to shut the door, all right? Because Noah was hearing screams, you know what I'm saying? People begging, please open the door for us. Let us in, please. Okay, the Lord shut the door, man. He closed the door of mercy. So once the elect is sealed, which is going to 144,000 in Revelation 7 chapter, once they're sealed, that's a wrap. Oh, hell gonna break loose, man, Okay? Or hug and break loose. And yeah, you got other believers that's going to come in and believe and hear the word and get delivered as well. But, you know, the Lord, he's setting up his men 
the top mint, the governing body. Once they're once they're sealed, that's it. Okay. So what it says, they did eat, they drank, they, they were living their lives. You know, they were living their lives in, you know, um, in folly and madness and wickedness, because the scripture goes to how only evils in their heart continually. Okay, during that time. So that's the same thing that happened in 2022, leading to 2023, man. All right, Lord willing, that's the year. Okay, I don't want to desire that be the year our Lord Yahweh shall returns. And if not that, you know, Lord willing, that be the year of Jacob's trouble, great tribulation, man. All right, because we hasten the day, because we want the kingdom of heaven. We want a Lord Yahweh shall to get his glorification upon this earth. And with all these all these heathens, everyone to bow and serve Yahweh while Yahweh shall. Okay? And we want to be changed. We want to be perfect, 100% perfect, keeping the law of such commandments 100% perfectly, you know, and with it being in our inward parts. But as we don't, it says, verse 20, likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, okay, was Lot was Abraham's um, nephew, okay, and he was dwelling in Sodom and, um, and Gomorrah, the wicked Canaanite cities, all right? It was into all type of sodomy, all right, which is, you know, homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia, lesbianism, all type of orgies and freakism that was going on in that in them cities man okay they did eat they drank they bought they sold they planted they built it all right so they were just living their lives and, and you know doing what they're doing but also you go to the history they was doing some wicked shit and like i spread how you mentioned during the time of noah there was you know it was only evil in their heart continually man all right but the same day that lot went out of sodom as soon as lot the lord got lot out of sodom and you can read that account in genesis the 19th chapter all right, the angel of the Lord told Lot, we cannot do nothing until you're out of these cities, man. So it's the same thing now. I, I, like I started off at earliest in the seventh chapter, the angel told them, listen, you can do not hurt the earth nor the sea until we seal the servants, man. All right, until we seal the elect, the 144,000. Once they sealed, then you can let loose, man. Okay. So we can read it again. Um, Luke 17 and verse uh, 29. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Okay? So everyone in them city, they tasted that heat, man. So that's spiritual in this account because it goes to the first death, the flood. And what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah was a represent, re representation of was going to happen in these last days, man. The second death, the fire that's going to come from the heavens, man. The ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay? The brimstone, the fire and brimstone is coming in the form of the missiles, man. All right? Verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, man. Okay, it says, in that day he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down and take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. So, you know what? Don't look back. It says, verse 32, remember Lot's wife, because she looked back and she ain't make it, man. Okay? So, that was the point I wanted to get on. Now, we'll get released to 7 chapter again through the spirit because this is coming soon man all right judgment oh hell gonna break loose the fire is coming you see once the elect is sealed that is a wrap let's read this verse seven i'm sorry one again and break it down and now these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power, which Yahweh Bashmael shot. And he cried with the, and that seal was, you know, going to also the Thawada, Mark, to be exempt from the judgment. It's equal to 9th chapter, verse 4. All right. It says, And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed. And remember, the book of Habakkuk, when the destruction comes, Habakkuk was like, Are you angry with the trees? You know, are you angry with the rivers? Because the judgment, the Lord going to ice everything, man. The scripture in the, first, in the book of Peter, I believe it's uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. It says, um, the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. Okay? So the whole earth about to get hit with some, some oh, that's Isaiah the 24th chapter. The earth shall roll to and for like a drunkard, man. Okay? Why? Because of the missiles. That's, that's, a, that's the indignation of Yahweh Bashem Yahushat, the wrath and the fury of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushat. And only the elect will get, um, will have, um, the Lord will have mercy upon, only upon his elect. Let's read on. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And they were sealed in 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So only the Israelites, man. All right. So you got 144,000 men of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel that got to get sealed in these last days, man. 
Okay, meaning what? They got to have this knowledge, this wisdom, understanding. They got to repent, come back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, go out there and push, teach, read, study, all these different things. Serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the, the, the top governing body, being joint heirs of Yahweh Shah. Then, of course, under the 140 of a thousand, a spirit, you know, I, was, I see um, a clock, you know. So, like, uh, uh, I was saying it's not the right time on this clock, but it's, uh, it says 441, you know, on my on my stove. But in any event, uh, yeah, once 140,000 is sealed, that's it. And of course, under 140,000, you have, you know, the elect, the one third, okay? Then also you got the large multitude, you know, and also in the same chapter in verse 9, which are the Israelites that have been scattered around the whole world, okay? So them, that the floodgates of judgment are coming, man. All right, oh, hell will break loose very soon in, in this society. And if you do not repent and get right, that's it. Okay, once the elect is sealed, then the floodgates of judgment and fire will rain upon the earth. All right, let's get um, Luke chapter 13, and verse 3. Luke 13 and 3. I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you should all likewise perish. So if you do not repent and come back to your God given nationality in these last days and serve your Hawaii Bashim Al Shah in true sincerity, you're going to perish. You're going to die, man. Okay, and there's many ways for you to perish. To get a second address, the 16th chapter. In verse 22, and it reads, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And a modern day sword, of course, you know, it's the guns, but it's also me going to the missiles, man. Okay? So if you escape, a lot of people that dwell upon earth are going to perish, meaning they die. I read Luke 13, verse 3 just now, because they ain't repent, they're going to die of famine. And if you, if you somehow escape the hunger, I mean, the famine, don't, you, don't, you don't die by the famine, you don't get killed by the sword. There's no escape, man. Okay? So we're in the, we're in the beginning stages of sorrows and great mourners and beginning of famine and great death. You know, wars is coming. All right, evils. Let's get Luke uh, 12 and 49. What did our Lord Yahweh Shai say, man? Luke 12 and verse 49, and it reads, I ain't come to send fire on the earth, and what will life it be already kindled? You see that? So he's coming to bring fire. But guess what? It's already going to be kindled. He also wanted to bring it 2,000 years ago, but it wasn't the time. All right? Like he told his disciples, man, you know, you know, uh, that's given only to the Father. All right? Only the Father knows that time because he ordained all of, these, all of this to, um, to take place. So he's coming to bring fire upon the earth, and it's already going to be kindled. It's going to already be riots. It's already going to be famine. It's already going to be death and bloodshed. Okay? So... That's why it's time to repent and get right. Because once the elect is sealed, the Lord willing, we're part of that number. All right? And that's why you see that this, you know, Lord willing, part of that number. And um, that's why you see this mass great awakening happening right now. A whole bunch of Israelites are learning. The Israelites are willing to, you know, fully believe in sincerity and truth. Okay? Or to be condemned. You know, the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, going to some shall awake to everlasting life or some to everlasting shame and contempt. You know, we know that's going to us again is knowledge and at least everlasting life, ultimately the kingdom and the Israelites that get born in the kingdom that, you know, uh, that didn't get right on the side that tasted it, you know, that, you know, that never repented. They're going to wake up to, you know, a long duration of shame and contempt. OK. So judgment is coming. Scripture going to look at first Peter four and seven. All right. First Peter four and seven. And it reads, but the end of all things is at hand. OK. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So remain on your watch, pray. Okay, be sober, clear-minded. All right? Don't be drunk with the wine or the philosophies, or ideologies of America, Babylon, the great or the world in general. Because the end of all these things are at hand. Okay? The end of paying rent. The end of paying bills. The end of working the clock. And then the end of just the way the society is ran. Okay? Uh, just the food system, economics, you know, all these things, political. All of this is about to be, it's over, man. Scripture say what well, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is beginning with that followeth. All right. So once the elect is sealed, the, then the floodgates of judgment and fire rain upon the earth because the heavenly father held back the judgment during the time of Lot and the, during the time of Noah until what? Until Noah enters the ark and until um, Lot got out of Sodom, man. And uh, until Lot got out of Sodom and Gomorrah. So once the elect is sealed, and that, man, listen. And that's how you know we know it's close because there's mass awakening. A whole bunch of brothers in it, sisters in it, waking up to who they are. Okay? Rehearsing righteous acts. And you got those that's in it for the wrong reasons. They don't get put to death. So we, we're very close, brothers. The only thing I do is endure and keep the faith. Now, I just want to be, you know, something quick, straight to the point. 
Um, I pray you are edified through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem I want to give call line blah Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Hashem Rakhak Wadash. The monitors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutation, he likes scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a message, shalom, wa baba ba, shalom.